Have you ever been so frustrated with muskies that you've considered driving the boat to the middle of the lake, pulling the plug, and then just swimming back home and taking up bluegill fishing? Or is it just me? What's going on everybody? My name's Brian, you're watching Angling Anarchy. Uh, as if musky fishing wasn't hard enough, as I say sometimes, I'm trying to film it, um, which is uh, its own challenge. So uh, this video is thankfully the last crummy day that my friend Louie and I had on Eagle Lake. And even being a crummy day, we contacted fish, we had chances. There's a lot of cool stuff that is in here. Uh, you know, we catch some pike, but uh, I feel like I've been saying this too often lately, but a no-catch musky video can be important. If you get too many of them, it gets annoying. And hopefully I haven't hit that point yet. Uh, but like I said, this is the last one for the year. Thankfully it's December. Uh, but like I said, a lot of cool stuff happens. Uh, every day you're out on the water, you learn something, and usually something cool, or a, co a couple of things cool happen. So uh, I'm just documenting all that stuff, all that fun stuff that happens throughout the year of chasing these silly fish that uh, if you've done it for any amount of time, uh, it's a love-hate relationship. They're absolutely gorgeous, fun fish, awesome fighters. There's nothing like it, but they can also kick you while you're down and it can be the most frustrating thing on the face of the planet and all that can change on the last cast of a 16 hour day uh, so yeah it's a crazy sport and sometimes I wonder why in the world I do it but uh, hopefully we'll answer that question with some of the stuff that is happening in this video and of course the next two days on Eagle Lake uh, we get some really nice fish so look forward to that it's getting to be towards the end of the year so we're definitely going to do a uh, top three fish of the year we got some really nice ones this year so look forward to that in the next coming weeks but uh, without further ado let's take a look at day six on eagle lake late august 2023 Well, that damn near ripped it out of my hand. Dude, oh! came up barreling out and ate it right in front of me. Did you see it at all? Yep. I'm not Oh, it's probably just a spike. <gasps> Dude, it's big musky. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, dude. That's what I missed. Oh no. <laughs> Yep. Yep. What the? Dude. Ah. Uh. This is rough. <laughs> Just can give us one. What the hell? Did you see that pike? Uh-uh. <laughs> I was working my bait in, and the pike came right underneath it and just went right past it. And, like, like the bait was back there, and he was right here. I'm like, you, you missed it. 
What the? W Ugh. I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, I just had that one hit, and he came in, did the dart off thing. Real yeah, quick. this was like a decent pike. Oh, so weird. I'm hoping that was just a pike, but it looked like a decent sized one. <sighs> That'll wake you up a little bit, I suppose. Ugh. Just eat it. <gasps> yep, yep, right up in that top corner right there. Boom. <gasps> okay, speed it up, speed it up. Speed it up down here and hang it in this top corner up here. Oh, dude. Dude, she was on it. Yeah, she was a nice one, too. Yeah. Damn it. Oh man, I, th I thought she was gonna freaking tag too. it, dude. I thought she was gonna hit it down low. Nope. There's a fish. Oh, it's a pike. It's a pike. I think. Ooh, I don't know, dude. Yep, it's a pike. Nice pike. It is a nice pike. Real dark color. Yeah. Uh, I should be able to pop it out of there. Maybe. There we go. So much for the killer tail. Let go of it, dummy. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, that's a, that's not bad at all. it's like a 36-ish, probably. All right. Yeah. Write yeah. yourself and go away. Oh, see, I'm going to, what I'm going to do is, yeah, there you go. There you go. Get yourself righted. <laughs> see, I knew it. I knew it. So close to breaking our streak of no musky days on Eagle Lake with that first one of the morning. I don't know how that fish did not get hooked. It, uh, it was such a cool eat, and it ate it all the way down to the leader, it seemed like. And to just be able to fling it off like nothing happened, those just, just drives you nuts. Those fish are magicians sometimes, and they know how to get away. Had another nice one bump that 8-inch Poseidon and fall into the boat, so two opportunities where the fish actually touch the bait and just you know maybe a quarter inch one way or the other and you've got two fish but uh, here we are sitting at zero thankfully as i said in the intro this is the last crummy day on eagle lake that we had in august we get some really nice fish on day seven and eight so be looking forward to that and i wanted to mention if anybody's looking for hats i've got hats they are velcro backed ones and of course if you can see them We've got the Angling Anarchy hockey hoodies, so if you are interested in either one of those, shoot me an email, anglinganarchy at gmail.com. I appreciate every single one of you watching this mess, and I will see you on the next video.